Hi viewers, the point of this video today is to go over with you some of the reasons why I switched from my coil hot water heater that used to be in this boiler here to a more modern hybrid or heat pump type water heater. Um, so this was in here in this boiler and this boiler would run all the time and water would just flow through this and heat this up. Um, 24 hours a day, 365, this boiler always stayed hot so that if someone turned a faucet on in the house, they'd have hot water. And as they ran that water, the boiler would just maintain a constant temperature so that you always had hot water. Um, I forget what the low was set on here before, but you know, this July, August, Morris month of the year, this boiler was always maintaining, maintaining temperature. Um, so I, I cut the pipes off this, and this, this it went right in here behind this plate. The only reason I, I took this out was because the gasket behind here was leaking. You know, you, I could have left this in there and just cut off the pipes and plumb the new, new tank in, but I decided to replace the gasket and put a new cover plate there um, while I was doing it just to prevent leaks. Um, but anyways, let's get to how much this thing, the new system has saved me. So here's the old system. I'll go over the numbers first. I got a little cheat sheet here. So let's see what I'm looking at the date. That, so November 15th of 2020, I switched from this system to the new system. So from May 22nd, 2019 to October 2nd, 2019, I used the, this boiler with the only purpose that boiler was running during that time frame was to heat the hot water. I wasn't heating the house with this boiler during those times. Um, it's 130 days. I used 78.3 gallons of oil just to heat my domestic hot water. Uh, roughly six tenths of a gallon a day. The next year from June 24th, 2020 to November 5th, 2020, which is 131 days, I used 96.8 gallons of oil to heat the hot water, which is roughly 0.74 gallons a day. Which, Averages out, both take 2019 and 2020, average about 0.67 gallons a day. Um, I think, I, I don't know what oil prices are today, but they're around, they were last I looked around 4.30. This is a oil fired boiler. Uh, so roughly cost me about $2.00. 90 cents or something a day just to heat my domestic hot water with this old system and this is probably the least efficient type of system you can have where you just have a, a coil in there with no holding tank and the boiler just stays hot all all year just in case you turn on the faucet um, now I'll turn the camera around and, and show you the heat pump or hybrid water tank that I installed. And I'm going to go over the numbers that that cost. Okay. Here's the hybrid hot water tank here that I installed. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I wrote the date that I installed it here, November 15th of 2020. Um, and obviously, I don't know if you can even see down here, but this thing says estimated annual energy cost of $104 a year. Um, the thing is, that's based on estimate of 12 cents a kilowatt hour, which unfortunately in my area right now, I pay about 23 cents a kilowatt hour. So almost double what they estimate. But, um, I'll get to the actual cost of what this has cost me 
for similar time periods to what the boiler cost me to run because well this is more efficient in hotter months because it uses the ambient temperature of the basement um, so in the winter when I do run this I theoretically it's taking heat from the boiler or other heat sources I use to heat my house just to heat the hot water um, but for, for purposes of this video I'm just gonna compare apples to apples like the summer months or my non heating season months what it costs me to run this um, so let's see from May 1st 2021 to October 31st, 2021, which is 180 days, I used 376.7 kilowatt hours to heat my domestic hot water, which is roughly 2.09 kilowatt hours a day, or in my area, that's 48 cents a day versus, you know, the 290 at current oil prices to heat my domestic hot water with the old indirect coil or direct coil. From May 1st, 2022 to 8 31, 2022, which is a couple days ago or a week ago, uh, that's 120 days. I used 221.35 kilowatt hours. Um, which is about dollar eighty uh 1.84 kilowatt hours a day uh or 42 cents a day uh so if i average those two out it comes out to about 1.97 kilowatt hours a day let's call it two two kilowatt hours a day which is 46 cents a day versus the 290 and the using the boiler to heat my hot water. So I save like $2 and 40 cents a day in my non heating month seasons to heat the hot water. Um, maybe I'll show in this video if I can some, there's an app that I can connect to this. Maybe I'll show like my annual usage and by month what I've used, but um, for 2021, the entire year, this, this used 864 kilowatt hours in, in my area at current rates, it's like $199, um, for the entire year, January through December, all 12 months. Um, and, uh, you know, with the, with the boiler just from June 24th, 2020 to November 5th, 2020, I use almost 97 gallons of oil to heat just the hot water. And that was, um, I mean, that would be like well over 400 bucks now today. So you can see there is substantial savings to me using this versus the tankless coil on the uh, boiler. Uh, so far in, in the year 2022, January through today's date, which is I think September 6th, I've used 593 kilowatt hours of electricity and that's about $136. Again, the, the only reason I know the exact kilowatt hours is because there's an app that tracks it and I also have other ways on my electricity to track usage on on this and the app is pretty accurate um, there's not much discrepancy at all from the other way I track my electricity usage to the app so I don't think it's lying to me about how much it's using um, I was able to get this tank for cheaper than I could have bought a normal electric hot water tank just through a state incentive that my state offers. Um, 
and down here, the only thing that's different is you kind of have to install some kind of way for the condensate to be pumped out or drained somewhere. Now this, this thing saves me substantially. When I installed it, fuel prices weren't as high as they are now, so the savings wasn't as substantial as it is today. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to post them down below and I'll try to do my best to answer them the best I can. Thank you for watching.